John, I had a question for you about uh, app hacking. Um, I know that you've talked about this before and used that term a lot. Sure. Um, but I had someone ask me about it the other day, and I was like, man, I wish I had John here to explain it for me. Um, tell me about what that means and how you've used it in the past. Well, I think it comes from the idea that people always think, and I hear this every day, that they have this original idea, and therefore that means they're gonna be successful. In fact, they, they use those exact words. They say something like, nobody's doing this, this app hasn't been done, therefore I've got a billion dollar idea. And that's kind of how it flows right into that. And so I, I bring that up because that's the misconception, that you have to have this original concept. And so app hacking kind of came out of this idea that you really shouldn't be trying to be original as an idea. You should be trying to find something that's already working and build something better on it. Because 85% of all startups, all pioneers, fail. Jim Collins talks about that in his books. And the reason why is because it's not a proven market. And so I like to do kind of what Apple does. I think Apple's the best app hacking, business idea hacking company there is. What they do is they take something that's already existing, it's already working, and they just see the opportunity, they haven't solved the problem, and then they make it better. And they did that with the iPod. They weren't the first ones, Rio was the first one. They did that with the iPhone. There was tons of smartphones out before that. I had the Treo, that was a terrible phone, but I had it, right? Yeah. And then you, they had the tablets, right? Those were all out before, and they came out with iPad. They really haven't invented anything except for the Newton, and the Newton, nobody's ever heard of it because it didn't do well. They don't invent anything, they hack everything. They stole the mouse from Xerox. They just do that all the time. So what I would rather people call me and say is, wow, I have this market that's existing, and I think I have a different take on it that's going to truly solve the problem where it's not being solved. That's what I call app hacking.